At around noon today, North Korea launched ballistic missiles toward waters east of the Korean Peninsula. This comes as South Korea wraps up its annual 12-day military drills and ahead of another large-scale aerial exercise next week with the U.S. That one starts next Monday, aimed at countering the North's evolving nuclear threat. Banji reports. Just two weeks after North Korea's last missile test, the regime has engaged in yet another provocation. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff announced Friday that from around noon, it detected two short-range ballistic missiles fired from North Korea. Our military has detected two short-range ballistic missiles that North Korea fired from Tongcheon area of Gangwon-do province. The military said the missile flew around 230 kilometers at an altitude of up to 24 kilometers, at a maximum speed of Mach 5. The launch site in the North Tongcheon area is close to the inter-Korean border, near the maritime buffer zones that were set to ease military tensions between the two Koreas. But Friday's missiles fired toward the East Sea reportedly did not land in these areas. Following the launch, South Korea's military stressed that this is a serious provocation that poses a threat to the peace and security of the Korean Peninsula, as well as the international community. It also strongly urged the regime to immediately put a halt to its provocative actions, as it is a clear violation of the UN Security Council resolutions. The military added that it is closely monitoring the situation by cooperating with the U.S. and is maintaining strong defense readiness. Today's launch comes on the last day of South Korea's annual Hukuk defense drill, which began last Monday. It involved field training and live fire exercises. The two countries plan to hold a combined exercise named Vigilant Storm for five days throughout next week involving almost 250 warplanes and thousands of personnel. This is the first time since December 2017 that the Allies are holding such a large-scale aerial exercise. Some 140 aircraft from South Korea, including F-35As and F-15Ks, and around 100 from the U.S., including F-35Bs and EA-18s, will take part. The training will also involve Australia's KC-30A multi-role tanker transport aircraft. The Allies are aiming to improve their combat readiness and the interoperability of their fifth and fourth generation aircraft. This comes at a time of escalating tensions on the Korean Peninsula, as North Korea appears to have completed preparations for what would be its seventh nuclear test. Peun Ji, Arirang News.